Hey everybody, my name is Rado Hudran and this is the full Cactus McCoy tutorial. Welcome! In this tutorial we are gonna go over five different things because I already made a download video. Um, it's just a tutorial where you could download the, and the game and it was taken down for no reason. So that's why I'm going to go over the download again, but also in the comments I got a few questions about how to change the controls and how to swap saves. And these are my suggestions to, you know, my contribution contributions to improve the tutorial. So let's go over the download first. I'm going to include this link in the description, so just copy it, go into your browser. Wait for it to load and then you hit download as zip. Or you can log into your account and use Mega Downloader, but this is for everyone without an account. Wait a few seconds or one minute depending on your internet connection and then go to your, to your downloads folder so the download is completed if you don't see this yet just hit refresh then you're gonna see this pop up if you don't have rar or zip or something to unpack this file just go and type in Google uh, WinRAR download or check some tutorials otherwise you go here unpack to Cactus McCoy and you should get this so we don't need to zip anymore when you open this folder you will see four files these three are part of the game so this is Cactus McCoy 1 Cactus McCoy 2 this is for later, for step 4, how to change the icon. And the last one is the Flash Player. This is actually the thing you have in your browser, you know, the one that expired, the Flash Player. But this one, for desktop, won't expire, I think. It will work for ever or indefinitely, basically, for a very long time. So, if you just want to know how to play this game, you click on this and you drag it into the flash player and it will open you won't hear any audio because I muted it for the recording to make it easy to edit so see all right so I've played this before I have a save here let's a uh, answer the first question I mean the second one actually first question from the viewers is how to change the controls just go here into the controls tab these are my settings the ones that I use these are pretty good and I like playing with them if you want to change something just click on it and change the key, you know, it's pretty simple, just like that. And just to show you that the game works, you go to the map, hit play. And this is where I got, you know. This is where I got and it's a hundred percent run so I'm trying to do each objective that's why I got 40% on that uh, Cactus McCoy is the same it works as well now let's go to uh, part 3 or step 3 how to use flash player to open by default so you know how we just dragged this game uh, to flash players to make to open it. It's a 
a necessary process, I think. So, what you what you are gonna do is copy all of these games and go to your program files. PC. Right over here. Just paste them. Do this for all current items. Continue, and you're done. So you will see Cactus McCoy one, two, and somewhere down will be the Flash player. So now you just scroll up again to this. Go to Open with. Choose another app. You won't see this. This is because I already uh, have done this step multiple times, so my Windows has saved it already. Uh, you, you click here to choose another app, then you scroll down, look for another app on the PC. Then you navigate to Program Files, you scroll down again until you find Flash Player 11.exe. Double click. And right now, you will see the icon has changed, and if you double click right now, it just opens with Flash Player. So this is nice and all, but uh, I don't want to go to program files any every time that I want to play the game. I want it to be here. And also, I don't want these ugly ass icons with a Flash Player logo. I want my own custom uh, icons. So, what am I gonna do? First off, you copy this path. You go to the desktop. This we won't need anymore. Right click, hit new shortcut. Paste the path over here. Hit browse. And you are gonna look for the game. So, first I will do Cactus McCoy 1, then I will do 2. Now I got these two guys, I will move them to my games. Now you see what I mean? Uh, they are really ugly icons and this is why we make a shortcut. I mean, this is not why we make a shortcut. Let's say, let's say we have these two, right? And you would just copy them to the desktop. You would get these two, but these are the original ones. These, you see, uh, the little shortcut icon in the bottom left. If you want to right click on this, you go to properties. There is no real way that I have found to change the change the icon. You can here change the app to open it with. That's not what we want. The reason we made a shortcut is because now we can change the icon over here. Pretty easy. So what you're gonna do is go to your downloads folder. Oh yeah, we don't need this anymore. Go to icons, and I've got you these two for you. So just copy them, go to your images. I mean, that's what I do for myself. Uh, I'll already put them here. So I made an ICO folder, and then here are my two. I have no reason to paste them, you know, but you are gonna paste them. Uh, then you copy this path. Paste it over here, hit browse, and change the icon. That simple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the wrong icon. I'm gonna have to change that again. Like that. So this will work right now. I can just double click. I know which game it is just by looking at the icon. I don't even have to read the title. And then let's go to step five. How to swap 
or transfer the saves to the other PC. So again, the audio works. You can mute and unmute it over here. I just don't have it for the recording, but I can hear it right now. So as you can see, I already have a save right here. And for the other one, I have a f I had a save with 40% progress. So what you can do right now is hit Windows R or right click here and hit run. Then type percent app data percent. Let's go. Go to Macromedia, shared objects, and this will be your save. By the way, if I'm doing some of these steps too fast, just go back and pause or play this in yeah, slower playback speed. Uh, so this is your save. We can test it by cutting it and putting it to the background. Then we start Cactus McCoy 1. And I will say later why not 2, but 1. It's because the other one doesn't work. Or I don't know how. Right now it's empty. If you create a name. Ah. So now we have a new save slot. As you can see, we are in level 1. And the controls have also changed to default. No. So let's close this. Up. Return to save again. And let's open up the Cactus McCoy 1 again and see what happens. Do we got our save back? You will see that you do. Spoilers, I'm sorry. Alright, so we got our save back if we hit play. It's exactly the same as the last time. No? You can still move, everything is the same, it's just the save that's uh, been put back. Unfortunately, I don't know where the save is for the other uh, Cactus McCoy 2. I have searched over here, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but that means that you can't transfer the Cactus McCoy uh, saves for the second, you know, Cactus McCoy 2 saves. You cannot transfer, uh, transfer them for now. And I want to ask you, the community, if you know how to do this, how to change the saves, where the files are located, just write it into the comments and I will pin them down. Um, yeah, I think that's all for now. We covered all of the steps. So I'm happy that you watched until here. I also want to mention that the original background, the one over here that I made about a year ago, uh, will be also in a different... I mean, I will make a different link for that if you want to download that as well. And if you want to make your own icons, maybe for a different app or something, you, you need to make a PNG file that's square and something around 500 by 500 pixels works fine. You can go to convertico.com to transfer them to an ICO file because you can only use ICO files for this to work. You want to change the icon. So you will see this. Then over here you will just insert your JPEG, uh, I mean PNG, only PNG will work. And you can see here other people who are doing it as well. Yeah, you can you can change your icon. <laughs> That's about it, basically. So, we've come to the end of the video. I'm uh, glad that you watched until here. If you want to see some parkour videos that I'm going to be releasing soon, you can subscribe. I also gonna, I'm also going to make some other tutorials that are pretty unrelated to each other. So if you have some time extra, you can stay around uh, for that as well. And otherwise, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.